Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Battletech. I've made some minor adjustments to some of our mechs. The Grasshopper isn't actually being changed at all, it's just being repaired. But I went ahead and uh, installed some jump jets in the Banshee, kind of fiddled with the Zeus's weapon loadout a little bit, traded out the AC5, the pair of AC5s for an AC10 and a large laser. We'll see how things work out. Uh, I did not think that it was probably going to be worth watching me fiddle with equipment for 10 minutes to make very small changes. Uh, let's real quick shuffle through our mech warriors, make sure that I've spent all of our XP. Uh, Bell doesn't have enough to get anything. Commander. Yeah, we know Behemoth doesn't. Right okay, you do. Probably we want to just keep working toward called Shot Mastery on everybody all the time, forever. Because it turns out to be incredibly good. Yes, Commander. Uh, this is plus one health. You probably don't need that. This is indirect fire penalty reduction, which you definitely don't need. We don't need any of that nonsense. I guess plus unsteady threshold matters. Ah, he's always got vigilance. Yeah, okay. 2.5% weapon hit chance. Decker is the finest gunner that the galaxy has ever known. Okay, Hellbender has a bunch of XP. So are we working you toward Ace Pilot or Juggernaut? Okay, definitely not Juggernaut. I don't think Juggernaut's good. So let's grab that and then also... Can we... Okay, we can not quite make it to called shot bonus, but this is a start. Mech warrior training complete. And who else? Medusa probably doesn't... Yeah, Medusa doesn't have any XP built up. Reckless... I mean, no, we're saving for called shot mastery, right? She's almost there. And he is there. Okay. Training confirmed, Commander. Feeling pretty good about that. I do feel it's a little silly, like, all of a sudden I want nine tactics on every character, but it is awfully good, isn't it? All right, let's find ourselves a place to go and get into some trouble. So we're going to just we're gonna just hop around a little bit and look for... There was another former Star League Presence world, yeah, right here. Ah, yes, this was the very short trip that takes an extremely long time. Uh, we are going to want to do some more missions, just because we want to build up XP on our, uh, on our newer pilots. Buckshot and Hellbender and Sumo. Um, but this is probably going to be the last video of normal missions. We're going to we're gonna hop around a little bit, look at some stores today, do a couple of missions to build up XP, and then tomorrow's episode is going to be us heading to the end. I don't know if that's only going to be one episode long. It might be more than one because, you know, the strategy missions have tended to be a little on the grand side. But, uh... Everybody enjoy today's languorous journey, basically, is what I'm saying. So real quick here, let's jump in the Grasshopper. Um, as silly as the Grasshopper's loadout is, and I'm not I'm not going to try to pretend that it's not real silly, I think we're probably going to change it up. I'm going to leave it for now, just because I would really like to get use out of it once before we change it, but I, I don't think this is long-term viable. We might end up just not using most of these support slots, uh, because it's not worth the tonnage. It's not We're not getting anything out of them because this thing doesn't move fast enough to catch up to people. But I, I want to deliver a big, huge robot punch that has six small lasers behind it at least once before we finish the game. It's a perfectly reasonable desire that anybody would have. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go to this Star League planet, we'll see if there are any missions at, like, four skulls or higher. It's still possible that we could finish another good mech, right? Uh, let's just keep things normal, I think. Everybody seems to be happy enough. And it's a lot of money, but also we have a lot of money and we make a lot of money, so... Alright, Buckshot's back on her feet. Yeah, remember, we still have two parts of a Battlemaster. I think we have two parts of an Orion again now. I would not be upset about a second Orion. That thing has some potential. And honestly, I'm still I'm still kind of looking uh, looking for a way out of running the awesome. I was super excited when we got it. The fact that we managed to, uh, to disable the pilot so we could take the whole thing as salvage. That was pretty cool, but at this point, we are outclassing it a little bit. Also, Elise had a real visceral reaction when I told her that I encountered a mech with so much armor that basically all I could think of to do was shake it until the pilot died. For some reason, that was very, a very upsetting image to her. 
Also, it was probably pretty upsetting to whoever had to clean out that cockpit. Okay, what do we got here? Plus damage. Ah, eh, plus damage. I do like plus damage weapons. That said, I, I don't know that I'm going to mount another AC-5. And I already replaced the the one AC-5 that the uh, Zeus is still using is plus damage. Because we did find one of those. Two stability damage and 50% crit. That's, uh, you know, that's interesting at least. Uh, with an LRM-15, you have so many chances to crit. Because, you know, you're going to hit a bunch of stuff through armor a lot of the time. That's probably worth... I'm going to go ahead and buy that. It's a little expensive, but... I think we can probably afford it. What else? Plus damage, plus accuracy. Boy, oh boy, do we have a lot of plus accuracy small lasers. Okay, so basically nothing exciting. Let's see if there are any exciting jobs. And if not, we're just going to bounce off to another planet. We have the we have the money to float around for a little while if we want to. Uh, this is interesting, but we can't do it. And I don't honestly know that I even want to do a three-star. Although, we have seen some big mechs on some 3-stars. And the pay on this one is huge. Detected an inbound dropship belonging to the local pirate organization. Our local defense forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of mechs. Uh, pirates wouldn't send a dropship if they didn't mean business. I don't know, this might have a... This might have a real enemy on it. Hey, out of curiosity, what is our, what's the deal with our reputation right now? We are 36 with the Conquered It. So not enough to get really good jobs from them. Now, you know what? I think we're just going to bounce. Go back to the star map, find ourselves another Star League world. I think there were a couple in here, weren't there? Yeah, like Smithen. Smithen, a place where we've had lots of fun adventures. Well, it's an Arano Restoration world now. It probably won't be a horrible, horrible place for us to go. Also, uh, Lady Arano gives us some good, good jobs. Commander, I've picked up a distress call from a nearby civilian transport. Oh, yep. We mount the, exp uh, the rescue exp expedition. Always. One reputation with the conquered it, one morale. We actually are almost morale capped. And you gotta mount the rescue uh, expedition. Always, always. Nobody wants to die, but especially nobody wants to die in space. Man, they did a really good job with like the tone of these cinematics. There's a a serenity to all of this. Just gotta prep ourselves, because when we get into Restoration Space, we're probably gonna immediately take like a four and a half skull job and somebody's gonna get pasted. So in the meantime, everybody just, you know, chill out. We have managed to burn an awful lot of money on travel already this episode. So we're probably going to have to take a job on Smithen uh, just to make sure that we can stay afloat. I've got the financial report. I mean, we definitely don't have enough money to, like, Almost buy anything cool. Cash. Darius, did you stop the ship to tell me that? Don't, don't do that. Don't ever stop the ship. Nobody let Darius touch the buttons that make the ship fly. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. All right. Uh, what have we? Oh, of course, this is the planet with the infinite supply of dragon parts. A Kintaro. This is the thing that, um... What's her name was was piloting, right? I cannot remember the names of the significant characters. This is a good mech. Anything that has five missile slots. Uh, there's no way we're gonna be able to put it together though. LRM twenty plus 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 plus. I do like that. We got one of these fancy rangefinders. I gotta say, these uh, we're not digging up a lot of good Star League tech on these worlds. Well, I do like this. I wish it was plus damage, but you know what they say about beggars and choosers. I'm going to go ahead and buy it, and then we're going to do a couple of jobs real quick. All right, let's get into some trouble. Uh, force. Yeah, I like force. Wow. That really is not a lot of money. 
12 day travel to Mector. Okay, it looks like Mector is where all the work is. Hold up. Let's zoom out to the star map. Mector's not a Star League presence world, is it? It's not, but it does have a black market, and it's rich, and it's a manufacturing and mining hub. So there still might be some cool stuff there. And it's only 12 days, which means we would get there before we have to worry about pay again. Right? Are we not? Where's the, the time scale here? Yeah, 26 days. Okay, so the question then is, do we even want to bother doing the job here? And I guess the answer is yes. It has four skulls on it. There's, there's a chance that we encounter, like, a battle master or something. Recover oper operatives from inside a directorate research facility. They will be carrying highly sensitive scientific materials, which must be returned to us. These materials are of a biological nature and must not be tampered with. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think we only need to do two pieces of priority salvage here. We probably only need to do one, huh? We can take a little bit more money. Not that we need a huge amount. But yeah, we'll go 1-6 and then... Like I said, there's a couple of mechs that we're only one piece off of. Uh, but the difference in pay is so small. It's only 100,000 C-bills, which is a number that doesn't even really register to me anymore. Oh, also, you know, if I'm that worried about money, we totally have mechs we can sell. Yeah, let's go ahead and go 210. So I think we're going to take these ones out again. Probably the same squad. This mission might be a little bit more difficult, so Buckshot, Sumo, Hellbender, like, we have to get the XP on them, right? Uh, Sumo now actually has called Shot Mastery. You, you know, our stats are getting pretty good on some of these other characters. This is fine. We'll do this. Man, that's a lot of metal. She needs a little bit more XP, too. Maybe she's in the Grasshopper. I, just, like, I suppose, it, in a sense, it's kind of dangerous to run the whole B-team. But honestly, at this point, Buckshot, Reckless, and Sumo are at least in the neighborhood of the same effectiveness as our original squad. This is probably fine. I will miss Decker's free point of initiative, though. It's possible these are not the right pilots for these mechs, though. Reckless, um, or, yeah, Reckless's skills are not super well uh, suited to driving that grasshopper directly into combat and trying to take a swing at somebody. Ah, whatever, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll just figure it out, because nothing ever goes wrong. We don't need to have a plan. Loading screen tip is talking about gladiatorial mech combat. Still, still can't imagine how that is an okay idea. Like, think about how expensive that must be. Alright, so we're definitely not allowed to touch whatever's in the highly sensitive scientific materials. You know, with some factions, this would make me nervous. I do not believe that Kamea Arano is trying to obtain a bioweapon or anything, though. Toronto Restoration isn't kidding about that non-tampering clause. The contract includes 20 pages of protocol for handling the biological sample cases. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be handling anything directly. We're just going to get in here and let the experts do the expert stuff. We'll do the part that we're good at, which is everything blowing up. We'll just blow up all of the things. So I am still going to try to have to get uh, the Grasshopper into combat, into melee combat here. And I think we should be able to do it as long as I pick my targets a little bit more intelligently. It was not great to have the Grasshopper go after the thing that was fleeing last time. We just want to run toward the stuff that actually wants to fight us. I'm going. Advancing, I guess. Alright. On the move. Okay, and I believe it is now the case that all of our heavy mechs have at least one jump jet. So the Thunderbolt is the only one of our uh, only one of our top eight that is not jump capable. There. I thought about okay. adding a jump jet to it, but um, we're trying to pack some serious weapons into a mech that just it really isn't that heavy. Moving to position. 
and I don't want to lose any armor from it because it's often at the front of our force, despite the fact that it is not one of our heavier mechs. Alright, so what we see right now is a single, probably, demolisher, although it could be one of those um, Shrek PPC carriers. Oh, we have a 65 ton something over here. I probably actually don't want Reckless to go first. Yeah, let's let them come to us a little bit. Time to earn our money. The thing up there is probably going to be able to move into actual shot range. Oh, the the 80 ton tank is the other thing that moves on too. Okay, it's a Thunderbolt. Okay, it's a pretty default loadout Thunderbolt. Interesting that it didn't try to take a shot at me with the PPC. I was really hoping that it would uh, that it would get aggressive on us. I wait your command. All right, Grasshopper, is there any chance? Nope, we cannot quite get into its back arc. Well, I can get up enough to fire at it, and I just adjust fire the PPC so that I can breach shot. I don't know. I don't love that. The other thing we could do is move up to here and um, target lock that thing so we can see if we can actually get some shots on it. Yeah, honestly, I like that better. Confirmed. Move up to a cover position here, get a sensor lock, and we'll see what everybody else wants to do. What are you? Sensors locked on. It is, in fact, a PPC carrier. Okay, so annoying at that range. Not going to be able to get close enough to get a... Oh, we can fire some of the short-range weapons here. Although, I guess I would only fire the Gauss Rifle anyway, huh? Due to the fact that we, uh... Oh, Hellbender doesn't even have Breaching Shot, that's right. Well, in that case, I probably do want to just get close enough to fire everything. Affirmative. It's gonna be a little bit of heat. It's worth doing though, right? Oh, maybe we should uh, we should make this a precision strike so that the lasers have a reasonable chance of actually hitting. Let's try to just like take out its leg, or we could try to take off this side here. Where's the PPC? It is in this arm. So 135 or 100 through the guarded state. It would be nice to do it this way. Let's try. I'm not going to get there, but I'm going to weaken it. Okay. 64 effective health remaining. We can get through 64 health. Copy. Okay, that thing's a demolisher. So... Am I... I am in the side arc here, right? Yeah, there's a chance that we... There's a chance that we get him. If we go with both the PPCs on this guy, we might actually just... They would both have to hit the same part. But it's possible that happens. Oh no, if I fire both the parts, right, we're, uh... There's no reason to fire both. I should, I should multi-shot. Because we do have breaching shot. Come on, fingers crossed. Hit that torso segment. Ah. Critical hit, Commander. Oh no, it did. Oh yeah, 25 damage, right. What's up, Commander? His math. Also, it just straight up did not show what happened to this thing. Looks like we didn't hit it. Oh, did I, f I hit multi-target, but then I didn't actually change the targets of the weapons. That's what happened there, is I fired both the... PPCs at him, and I missed one of them. That's why I did 25 damage. Okay, well, not great. Alright, so we got an AC-10, a large laser, and still our LRM-20 pod. I think I'm just gonna move up and let this guy have it. I think with all of the weapons, we should be able to get the job done here. Do I maybe want to precision strike him? 
No, I think the odds of us getting through are, are good enough without spending the morale. Firing a full salvo. We just need, there we go. Just need a couple of missiles to hit. Alright, without his PPC, he's a lot less dangerous. Also, that pilot's pretty messed up now. We did two pilot damage there. If he gets back up and then we destroy his leg, which should be easy enough to do, we'll do another pilot damage. It's possible that that, it's actually not even that unlikely that that pilot only has four health, right? So we might be able to just burn him out. Okay, we could get aggressive on this thing. But man, if I try that, I better not miss. There's a pretty good chance that it gets to take its turn next. Let's see, we could jump up to here and hit Vigilance. This thing is pretty heavily armored. But if, if we took two AC-20 shots to the same body part, even with Vigilance... No, honestly, they, they, wouldn't, they still wouldn't get through. I'm going to do it. We're going to get aggressive here. Now I'm going to jump as close as possible to this thing so that I can just run over and stomp on it next turn. Here's hoping I don't regret this. Oh, there's a 75 ton something over there. I kind of regret it already. Uh, I will instantly overheat if I fire everything. You know what? Maybe that's fine. We're about to travel. I could take a little bit of structure damage. <clears throat> Especially if I'm planning to do a melee attack next turn. Yeah, let's try to give it everything. Affirmative. Oh, so close. Okay, well it wasn't able to take the shot. That's good for us. And here we have an Orion with a pretty cool paint job. Well, I think we're going to finish another Orion here. Like I said, I'm not uh, I'm not upset about that. The Orion has a a good weapon loadout. It's a nice machine. And there's something else coming through here at 60 tons. So whatever it is, I I'm probably not trying to salvage it. Wow, they have uh, quite a few somethings over there, huh? Now, the grasshopper is doing what the grasshopper is supposed to do. Okay. You have multi shot. So we want to LRM the demolisher. We want to be in its left arc when we do that, which we totally are. So we can move up to here. Yeah, we're on the right side of that thing. Okay, I don't really know what the plan is beyond that, but let's let's do this. So if I give him the LRM 20, I should be able to safely focus on somebody else with the other weapons. Are you in range? You are sort of in range. Just shoot at this guy. Apparently I want to take it easy on the large laser this turn. Uh, I did have to strip some heat sinks. These things happen. It has seven health left in that quadrant. Yeah, this should be fine. Fire on multiple enemies. Wow, I actually only hit the the left side once. Right, that was a center torso hit with that weapon. You know, the AC-10 is a fine weapon. Yeah, I think the AC-5... Um, the, so the AC-2 has a place as a, like, a super, super long-range sniper weapon. The AC-5 is in kind of an awkward spot because it's longer range than 
a lot of other weapons. Like, to the degree where it, the uh, the AC-10 has the same range as a long laser. So if you're trying to run an AC-5, you're going to be out of range of most other things. And it does so much less damage than an AC-10. It's like, it, it feels like it's almost never right to run the AC-5. Alright, what do we want to do here? The Orion did leave itself open. You should probably take advantage of that. Rolling. I'm just going to run up into the open. Highlander's tough as heck and nobody ever shoots at it. It can sustain a round of, of fire or two. And let's just... I think this thing's under control already, so let's just start it on you. With our good long-range weapons here. Engaging target. Alright. And we don't have to get fancy with this thing. We only need one piece of it. Hey. So a good old-fashioned center torso coring is uh, is totally fine. Uh, you know the banshee's tough too. I'm just gonna present them with three or four thousand armor worth of metal to shoot at, and they can figure that out on their own. I right, definitely want to put one PPC into that guy. Can I fire both of them without? Yeah, it's a pretty. That's a, that's a thing I'm willing to accept. I will take that much damage. Oh no, definitely don't fire into the medium lasers. This is split PPCs. If you say so. Did that hit? No, okay. Yeah, it's such a small amount of structure damage. Like, if you're going to travel at all, you can get those overheat repairs done very easily. Oh, breaching shot. Was that to the arm that the autocannon is in? No, okay. Oh, no, this isn't the... <laughs> I'm so used to the mech out in front being the thunderbolt. So, nope, we are nowhere near melee range. On anything ever. Jump up here and shoot at this guy. This thing's jump range is impressive. I mean, part of the reason we're having trouble getting in on stuff is because of the uh, the unevenness of the terrain. You know what? Given that I'm sitting here in vigilance mode and I'm not actually in very much danger from these enemies, I wonder if I should just pass, let stuff happen. Because I don't have enough uh, morale to reinstate Vigilance. Yeah, let's just reserve. Let's let them come out and burn some more attacks on us. Oh no, not 45 damage. Waiting for orders. Uh, honestly? Just gonna reserve again. Yeah, she didn't even feel it. There's a lot of uh, stability damage, though. So far, so good. Yeah, we're all tough enough. This shouldn't be a big problem, I don't think. Ooh. That guy's kind of running into position where I could uh, DFA him. Maybe that's a plan. Alright, I would love it if we got to go first in this next phase. Okay, you can cut it out now. Because we can put some pretty good damage into that Orion while it's laying on the ground. Oh, there's yet another mech over here. There's another one of those situations where we, uh... Some serious hits. We're just getting outnumbered three to one here. Okay. Who wants to be the one to put the Orion to sleep? What? No. Sumo, can you get the shot? He can get indirect on it. That's probably all we're going to be able to get. Yeah, there's nowhere I'm going to be able to jump to that's going to give me direct fire on that. Uh, actually. Yeah, that does it. My chances of hitting with most of the weapons aren't very good, but... 
Can I, hold on, can I just walk to that? I can totally walk to that. Let's not generate the extra heat. On my way. The AC 10 chance is not super good here, but how much damage do I actually have to do? 116, so probably not with Sumo. We can certainly get started, though. And yeah, I'm just going to eat the overheat here, too. Reducing the number of enemies we have to fight here is a pretty big deal. Uh, we don't have to get... Alright. Don't really have to get that many missiles in. Got pretty lucky there. You tell him, Hellbender. You gotta appreciate just, like, how excited the dude is. He's enthusiastic. Hold on. Can I DFA this thing? Uh... I could DFA the PPC carrier. I do it from here, I'd end up facing most of the enemies. But if I do it up here, I get to be in cover. This is probably not necessary. Uh, do I have enough leg armor? I'm going to take a little bit of actual structural damage to my right leg. The left leg has enough armor to cover it. And then I think this... Yeah, the small lasers will all fire after the jump, which is actually going to overheat me so hold on let me let me turn off enough lasers that i don't shut down here fire two of them because this is going to be 180 damage so it's going to tear through this guy pretty good i may not need to fire any of them Acknowledged. let's be on the safe side Okay, that was pretty all right. I feel, I feel good about that. One of the values of having one of these really, really big mechs, right? Oh, stability lost. Right. I had a, I had a bunch of stability damage there, oh, so uh, I kind of knocked myself lost. over. Everything's fine. She's fine. She'll be fine. Uh, she's laying down now, so I suppose we ought to like make some of the rest of us attractive targets. Well, we can probably kill this PPC carrier with Hellbender. I think that's probably what we ought to do. And I am willing to Precision Strike to get the accuracy of these weapons up a little bit. 72% to this. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll almost certainly get it. Firing all weapons. You show the husk of that vehicle, Hellbender. That vehicle is one for the junkyard. All right, Banshee, probably what I'm going to do with this is just, m like, move forward in Vigilance, and then I'm not really sure what else from there. I'm probably only going to be able to fire one weapon this turn. Okay, let's go. But yeah, she can, she can definitely get forward and then uh, provide a distraction. All right, so what am I worried about? The cicada is annoying more than anything else, although the pilot of the cicada does have breaching shot, which I hate. I won't quite be able to kill it with a single hit, but maybe it's worth firing the PPC at it just to, like, really open it up. This thing is way more dangerous, though. Yeah, and there's a lot of value in the PPC shot as a way of, uh, screwing with its aim. Really, I have to... I have to not fire at all to not shut down. Well, shoot, I wish I had realized that before I'd hit Vigilance, because that was just a waste. We're going to brace this turn. It is so, so hot out here. Well, the good news is it's going to be affecting them as well. And she's down, but she's in the Grasshopper and she's in cover. Kate is going to be able to put a clean PPC shot into her with breaching shot, though. Still, she just she has a ton of armor. What now? Uh, do you have bulwark? You do. Okay. But now is probably we try to shoot this quick draw with one weapon. Can I? Man. Nope. I brace. I just like. Can I get? 
close to this thing? No, I cannot. I want to be able to melee, basically. I need to I need to potentially throw punches. Because our heat is so bad. I can just move forward and brace again. I could vigilance and then sprint forward. That'll put me in a position where I definitely get a melee attack off on something. Yeah, alright, let's do it. I'll try. Because the Banshee is huge, and it hits really hard. Interesting. Interesting focus on the Highlander, of all things. <laughs> I'll laugh at your puny attack. Hellbender's a real corny dude, but uh, honestly, he has grown on me very quickly. Uh, this thing has a pair of LRM-15 pods, that's not good. It's tough, it's just too tough. Grasshopper can, <laughs> cannot be meaningfully damaged. Uh, I guess I'm not really in a hurry to stand her up because we are going to get to take all of our turns before they get to do anything else. So why don't we start with the Highlander? Uh, he does have Bulwark. I guess it's best for me to just stand still. And he is a remarkably bad shot, though. Well, we gotta start letting this thing have it. Why are you such a bad shot? I, oh, we're shooting into a mineral field. Yep, that'll do it. What's your excuse on this guy? He moved a little bit. We could go after the cicada. We could probably bring the cicada down, right? Let me let me spend my move to turn slightly here. Oh, we're not close enough to get all the weapons in. All right, we'll just have at this guy. And here it comes. Come on, one more hit. Yes, there we go. Oh, he is in Take bad shape. Back. That was most of his weapons, too. Yes, Commander. All right, stand up. You probably just have to brace. All right. I'm up again. We try to show them our left side. Yeah, I'm just going to walk her over here a little bit and brace. You, on the other hand, have to have to figure out a way to do something meaningful here. All right, his heat management is a little bit better than the other mechs. If we don't fire everything, we can do some more damage to the quick draw, put it on the ground, and then the Banshee's melee attack can maybe be on the Wolverine instead. Uh, so we're not going to fire the laser. I don't have to fire the AC-10 either. I just need to hit it with one thing to put it on the ground. This is... 15 heat and this is 18 heat but there's no way I miss all 20 of these missiles right and all I need is any one of them to hit to get the knockdown this turned out to be a little rougher than I thought it was going to be That cicada is really determined to close. I guess it has those machine guns. Maybe it wants to use them. No, it totally doesn't. Well, I don't know what it's thinking. Maybe we just punch that thing. Okay, we're fine. Everything's holding. Reckless is having a lousy day. So I have a lot of choices. As far as punching goes, I have a lot of options. I probably will just crash right through this thing, right? Like, even if I hit an arm, 40 damage, and then another 65, 
Okay, so no, if, if the punch lands on an arm, it won't actually kill the cicada, but it will cripple it. If the punch lands here, we'll do 65 into... No, that's not quite enough either. Maybe I should just go for the stomp on the on the uh, quick draw. The thing I'm thinking, though, is that the quick draw is going to be the easiest uh, for somebody else to kill. Like, she can... What if we just fire the PPC? She can go PPC to the chest. That's actually not enough damage. Uh, I would need... I'll get 70% to the chest. What's the damage to heat ratio on this thing? 40 versus 10. So actually, I want to do something more like... Uh, use the plus aim, medium lasers, and then also the LRM. Probably one more laser. Just to try to be sure. Maybe two more lasers. I'm going to take some heat damage on this, but... Yeah, let's see if we can get him. 79. So I need three of those lasers to hit, and then also one missile. I have to fire at least one more laser, I think. The odds are so bad. You know what, let's just... Let's just do them all. Let's try to be sure. It, it actually didn't die until the LRMs hit, so I did need all of the lasers. Alright, we don't have a lot of enemies left now. It's three on four. Okay. The good news is... It was all just medium lasers. So this thing now is getting the punch, right? I think I like this thing less than any of the others. What do you have? You have a... Uh, you do have an SRM-6 pod. Yeah, I think this thing dies. Not great, because there's no version of this where I don't show my back to somebody, but also... The Banshee's got healthy back armor. Yeah. Let him have it. Moving to position. Only a 75% melee hit chance, because of the unsta unstable ground. Alright. So that was a hit to the arm, which is unfortunate, but it still did push some damage through to the torso. I'm receiving you. Can I get into the right firing arc? No, there's no way for me to not be... Oh, sorry, I want to be on this side. But yeah, there's no way for me to not hit this thing from the front. Well, let's do that then. Let's put it on the ground at least. Do I want to have Sumo do that? Boy, it is Commander. really... There we go. Really reluctant to let me select Sumo for some reason. Yeah, I can have Sumo put the thing on the ground, and then Hellbender can probably kill it. Let's do it that way. And this will let Sumo bleed off a little bit of heat. Okay, this mission was messy. But we are getting a big mech out of it. Boy. His aim is not good. Yeah, just go center. Do your best, man. The Gauss Rifle is a wonderful weapon. Ooh, that hit something good. We really need to get some more of these. Unfortunately, it looks like probably we won't. Reaching shot. I'm losing armor bad. All right. Well, I'm very grateful that that thing shot at the Highlander. Like it had the back armor of the Banshee, and the Grasshopper's in terrible shape, and it just basically it just chose not to do damage. 
Uh, let's see, we can get rid of the cicada. Uh, she does have an LRM shot on this thing, but she's not going to do enough damage. Okay, we definitely need to go with everything we have. I need, to, I need to shoot as hard as possible here. Uh, I don't have Bulwark. So I guess I'm probably using Vigilance, which means I can afford to move. I want to be in the Cicada's front firing arc, though. Roger. Okay. So this is not going to cause a shutdown. Oh man, we're almost certainly just going to miss most of these attacks though. Maybe I should just sensor lock. Let some of the heat bleed off. Yeah, I'll just strip a couple of its evasion charges. That's probably a better use of our uh, of our turn. Nobody is interested in fighting with, uh, with this thing at all. Psh, I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of the half of a mech that you still are. I'm here. Okay, well, the Banshee can almost certainly... Oh, I was going to say the Banshee can almost certainly get a kill. But actually, we can't punch the thing from the damage side. That was kind of clever positioning. Alright, what if we punch What if we punch to the back here? A punch to the back I'm pretty sure is lethal. Do I wanna blow you up? What if I what if I punch this guy in the back? 130 damage to one of the back zones is maybe not going to be lethal, but might uh it could be. You can't aim a back shot, unfortunately. And we have a little bit of time to take care of this. This thing is more likely to go down to people's shots. The Wolverine has taken no damage at all so far. I think this is what I want to do. Advancing, I guess. Let's take the swing at just putting a, putting the fist of our mech all the way through this thing. Yep, just like that. Punch all the way through his chest. Hit him hard now. All right. That's pretty good. Get an extra long camera shot of the devastation there for some reason. Man, even with the sensor lock, huh? Stupid mineral field. All right, let's get a little bit closer so that we're at least in optimal range for more of the weapons. Actually, from right here, yeah, I'm in optimal range for everything. Roger that. And then the question is, do we try to finish off the catapult, or do we try to finish off the other guy? We'll probably try to finish off the catapult, I guess. Go for precision strike to the center torso. Nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to just kill this thing now, and we'll set, precision strike it with sumo if it lives. I think that we should be able to get this. Oh, sorry, normal attack, not precision strike. Wow, good shooting. <laughs> Hellbender! Right here. You are tempting fate. You are going to get yourself killed. A, a big rock is going to fall on you. Uh, I think a little bit of overheat is warranted here. We gotta like actually try to take this thing down if we can. It's low enough on armor that this, this is potentially a kill. And in fact, we're definitely going to precision strike. All right, there it is. All right, that got a little hairy. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit more dangerous than I was hoping that it would be. Yeah, you you did it. You really neutralized him. I'm taking heat damage. Okay. Oh yeah, we had a, like a, a mission objective that was not just killing everything. My fingers are on the wrong keys, and are causing the camera to rotate erratically. I'm walking here. 
<laughs> he heard the sumo say that once and he thought it sounded so cool. But somehow it's just not the same when he says it. Alright, hold position till the samples are aboard. I'm gonna I'm gonna do exactly that, Problem. thank you. So we did lose some uh we did lose some improved laser weapons there when we lost the the arm of the grasshopper. The but I'm not too concerned about it. Nothing really important was lost. And Reckless is only half dead. Let's go secure our secondary no. facility. There. Okay. It's going to be worth a bonus, okay. but the, the base mission pay isn't really that high, so the bonus isn't going to be that high either. It should probably just give us all the credit and all the money. I, th I can't imagine okay, there are going to be more enemies. Cool. The number of enemies we had there was already kind of pushing it. Affirmative. Beat the cake. We have the secondary asset, Commander. Bring it home. Okay. That got a little, uh... A little harsh. It is way harder to fight, like, two good mechs and six bad mechs than it is to fight four good mechs. Alright, there's some minor damage. Some, yeah, some minor human damage. Alright, so now we gotta burn 30 days, though. Because <laughs> we do need her. Uh, oh, this was the... This is the wrong kind of Orion. That's right, there are two types of Orion. Well, that's annoying. And then there's all this loot and none of it's even good? Eh, that's not bad. Oh, plus two hit defense. That's pretty good loot. I'll take that. We also got part of the catapult. Yeah, okay. Well... Now that I know we didn't actually get another big mech out of that mission, that was just bad. It was just a bad one all the way around. Well, you know, we can uh, we can advance time by just sitting around. So I guess it's not a big deal that she's out for 30 days. We'll try out, we'll bounce to uh, uh, the place where those missions are that I've already forgotten. See what's at the store, maybe do one of them. I guess maybe it's maybe it's a better use of our time to just fly to a place that has uh that has former Star League presence. Hold on, let's go to the star map and have a look around. I think there were other former Star League presence worlds in Restoration Space. I don't remember exactly where, but I, th I thought there was more than one. It's really, we're just looking for either pieces of really, really good uh, Lost Tech mechs or Lost Tech Weaponry, basically. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's not another one of these in uh, in Restoration Space. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, there is one nearby, though, right? Over here somewhere. Hero Titus isn't... I th thought I remembered... Okay, yeah, here. Kimi. Former Star League Presence. It's a mining world. So they have more parts too, right? Yeah, okay, let's just bounce out to here. Uh, we have enough money to pay everybody, I think, right? We have 120,000. We should sell something before we go, I guess. We have a whole bunch of extra max. This, this should not be a problem. I'm comfortable selling everything that we have in storage. Okay, all of a sudden, money's no longer an issue. Oh, before... <laughs> sorry, before I start any travel plans, maybe we should actually get some repairs done in the mech bay, huh?
All right. Well, I guess this is as good a time as any to actually like refit this with proper parts. So probably what we're going to do with this thing is mount... It is all energy weapon slots, though, isn't it? All right, like, let's pull all the small lasers. I suppose we could turn this into a into a jump jet mech, and then the small lasers do, you know, they do do something. But maybe we give it one or two more long-range weapons. I could even just put all the medium lasers back on it. Like, let's go... I guess plus damage lasers should go in the place that improves accuracy. Let me turn off the display of a bunch of these parts. Plus accuracy lasers in the place where we don't already have an accuracy bonus. Plus 30 stability damage PPC is kind of tempting. You know, over plus 2 accuracy, maybe. No, it's not like we're having trouble knocking stuff over. So yeah, I guess we go... Like that. And then we can maybe do something a little bit more aggressive with the armor. Or it's already at max jump jets. Ah, man. I don't really know what else to do. We could pull a medium laser for a large laser. What is the tonnage on a large laser is five. So yeah, if we pulled a medium laser, this would just fit. Or, stupid, stupid me, we could just jam a bunch of heat sinks in here. That's what we should do. This thing just needs, like, a million heat sinks. I do wish we could improve the missile shooting, or the missile firing capability a little bit, but unfortunately, uh, the missile pod spot is in the head. And uh, you can only fit one slot worth of stuff in the head. So I could go to an SRM-4 instead. Is it... Yeah, tens. Tens or two slots? Okay. We could go to an SRM-4 instead. That's, uh... It's almost twice as much damage, and it's active at the range where most of our weapons are active. But I like this having this thing having just a little bit of... a uh, long-range capacity. A little bit of indirect fire capacity. Especially since we have a tendency to push things right up to their stability limit. Uh, the LRM-5 can easily push them over. I think this is... this is fine for now. The small lasers really were not doing us any favors. Okay, and Yang's so good at his job that it'll take hardly any time at all. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And then we can just get some normal repairs on these. The Highlander didn't take any real damage during the fight, because the Highlander is the best mech of all time. Also, nobody ever wants to shoot at it for some reason. Not never, but like, shockingly rarely. Okay, now let's take a trip. Former Star League Presence, please, please, please... Let me found a, find a Gauss Rifle when we arrive. So we might do one more battle here. I do want to make sure that everybody's XP'd up. I don't think we really need that much more XP to make the last couple of pilots viable, though. The biggest problem is Hellbender, because we picked him up super late. Uh, now, it is worth noting that he is gaining XP... I think he's still under the threshold, so I think he's probably gaining XP all this time we're flying from the training modules. Actually, thinking about it, I have no idea if he's still under the threshold or not. So we might get to Kimi and then just rest until Reckless is available again, so that she can get XP on the sort of the final, what I intend now to be the final normal mission we do. We'll see if that actually holds. Boy, this sure is a lot of jumps, isn't it? That work order you submitted is complete. All right, hopefully we're going to find a shop brimming with fancy weapons and a couple of decently difficult jobs waiting for us 
which will yield... I'm still fingers crossed for a Battle Master. It seems like a really cool mech, and we have two pieces of one already. I really wish I had realized that that Orion was not the one that we have two pieces of. I would have been more careful. Uh, well, we've never done this with the upgraded lounge before. The lo This lounge option is mostly just, like, people get high spirits and maybe you get some morale. I'm curious what this is. Reserve the private screening room for the senior staff. Okay, it's just a morale increase. You and Dr. Murad both joined Darius in the lounge to watch an animated psychological horror story about a battle mech with an unusual engine design and its creator's search for the perfect pilot. Darius ventures a single amused remark early in the show when the inventor is monologuing, but the dagger look Dr. Murad turns on him prevents any further commentary. When the credits finally flow across the screen, Darius says, That was better than I expected. Ah, uh, what, what is the reference that is being made here? I can tell it is a reference, but I don't know what it is a reference to. Okay, so plus morale. Hey, we hit the morale cap. We did it, everybody. It's a very important objective that I didn't realize I had. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. All right, show me something cool. Uh, nope. I mean, this is better than the LRM-5 that we currently have equipped on one of our X. Well, this was a bust. I'll buy this, though. New weapon systems available. Alright, anything interesting in the contracts? We could still come away from this a winner if we can fight some interesting mechs. Okay. Four Skulls. Four Skulls is, uh, is promising. Corporate secret Secrets. A scientist for a local government conglomerate has turned industrial spy. Alright. We've heard this story before. I guess let's go ahead and do it. Do I want to wait? I probably want to wait a little bit. Because uh, I want Reckless to be in the mission, right? Actually, hold on, let me look. We haven't had Behemoth in a mission in such a long time that I wonder if maybe she's getting a little weak. Maybe she could come in. 9748 versus 8477. Yeah, Reckless is actually more developed than Behemoth is. Yeah, okay, we'll have Behemoth take out the rest of the rookie squad. Because, yeah, Reckless was in quite a few jobs. Uh, she is an earlier arrival than some of the other newbies. You were still saving up. Standing by. Yes, Commander. On um, you, I do want to pick this up, I think. I don't know. That's a good skill, I think. <laughs> I think it is. Training complete. Uh, and sumo. Let me think here. Sumo could get some extra evasion capabilities. I'm a little worried about extra point of evasion because a lot of our mechs are not fast enough to get to 5 evasion. Yeah, I guess just weapon accuracy then, right? And how about Reckless herself? Uh, we should... She's a single job away from having called Shot Mastery. We should wait for her. It's only 10 days. You cross a financial report, it's not a big deal, although this job does not pay very well. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Uh We could really cut. I'm a little worried about our cash flow at the moment. Because this job doesn't pay super well. The max payout on this job is only like 400k. We can afford a pretty serious morale hit and still we could still be above the 45 point threshold. Let's take it easy for a month. Toughen everybody up. Uh, by the way, that is a myth. <laughs> uh, depriving yourself of things. Depriving people of things does not make them tougher. Mostly it just makes them weaker. All right. Let's do it. Oh my god, polar. Beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna go 210 here. We should be able to do this. I hope we should be able to do this. So I think we do maybe just take the same squad out. We could sit Buckshot for Behemoth, maybe. We could sit Sumo for Behemoth. That's what we should do. Now, who are we in the right max? 
The grasshopper should be piloted by somebody quick. It probably should be Hellbender, actually. Who wants to take a turn in the Highlander? Is it Reckless? She has multi-shot and breaching shot. But, like, somebody with multi-shot, breach, and um, bulwark is probably a good fit. Well, the Highlander spends a lot of time trying to get closer to people, though. The Zeus and the Banshee are both reasonable matches for this skill set, right? Yeah, stand still at long distance and fire. Yeah, okay. This is this is a better arrangement of our pilots. This will this will go a little bit better, and we actually get to uh, get to vent some heat once in a while on this one. This will get us a bunch of people to call shot mastery. I think. I sure hope so. High gut skill actually lowers the chance that mortal injuries are fatal, huh? Does it say that? I don't think that's something that was actually listed in the benefits of raising your guts. It seems like there's a lot of things in this game that are, um... That are communicated, because that's the way I know them, but they're not communicated well. Like, it could be more obvious. Uh, so many things in the game are flavor text that, like... I didn't really read a lot of the weapon descriptions at first because I didn't realize that there was actual mechanical information in them. But that's the only that's the only way that you would know that the PPCs have a an aim penalty that they inflict on people. Okay, what do we think we have here? We just got to secure the area against the hopefully small number of very good mechs. That we encounter rather than a large number of not that good mechs. Okay, we want to try to get the grasshopper forward. Move order received. Any reads? Okay. Get to take a nice slow stroll up to the base. I'm here. Onward. Picked up a blip. Uh oh. Sensor showing a new hostile. Good to go. Ah, that's annoying. I came into actual vision of it right away, so I didn't get a chance to complete the rest of our turns. A victor. Well, that thing has an AC-20. Also, honestly, kind of just a cool-looking mech. There's something over there. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any parts of a victor, done. so we're probably not going to be able to make this, uh... Probably not going to be able to make this ours. Also, it has an AC-20, and I'm right on top of it. Not that well maintained. We could try to take out the legs. It has 27 head health. Just enough for me not to be able to lucky one-shot it with a laser. And your, your aim shots are not super good, right? Yeah, 2%. I think that might be the play, though, right? Try to go to the head. You don't have... Oh, no, you do have Bulwark. So, yeah, the, the thing to do here is Precision Strike the head. Uh. Yeah. One laser from the LRM plus a medium laser hit. Like, that's pretty unlikely, but it could happen. And if the big medium laser or the PPC hit it, that would be great. And even if that doesn't happen, we're pushing it down one initiative, so it has to... It potentially could get... Uh, it could. It might not even go next. Should be alright with us. Take that. Push it down into the next phase. Uh, I think... I think it's better for me to stay where I am and enjoy Bulwark than it is for me to back up into a cover position. Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, they chose not to move it first, so we still have a chance to take it down before it fires. There's another Zeus over there. Pretty well outfitted. I mean, the Zeus is just a good mech. Armor's getting stripped off. Waiting for orders. All right, somebody's got to finish this thing off. Acknowledged.
Yeah, we're probably just going to the center. I really don't want to get shot with that autocannon. Her aim's not that good, though. Still, if we hit with the Gauss rifle, then also half of the missiles probably just about will hit, and that would be good enough. I'd love to take one of the one part of this thing home, though. Try to take out the legs. We could try to remove the AC-20. Where is it? Yeah, that's awkward. We should probably just core the thing. Fire in. Okay. Oh, right, it's guarded. Never mind. Never mind everything I said about definitely being able to kill it. Okay. It hit, but it hit into guarded. We're all right. Arm's almost off again. Hey. Uh, so we definitely want to move you forward as much as possible, even though it is going to expose you. You know what? Nothing's going to get through the Banshee's armor. We're fine. Ah, oh, man, that miss is frustrating. So that thing over there is 80 tons. This is a Banshee. Reporting internal damage. Yep, the Grasshopper is coming apart at the seams already. Ah, you know what? I'm not too worried about the cover situation here. We'll be fine. If they want to shoot at the Zeus standing in the open, that is actually every bit okay by me. Alright, let's just let this thing have it with everything. It has to go. It has to go down now. Boy, we are really spreading out our damage all over the place. Huh? Okay, there it is. No more of that for you. You know, aside from that from that arm, we're actually in really good shape over here. I just need to need to turn a little bit, really. Alright. AC5 PPC versus Yeah, this thing. This thing is more important. I still don't even know what that is, but I definitely can't afford to move. I need to take bulwark. So I just need to turn so that my left arm is toward the enemies. Okay, we're probably fine now. Let's give this Zeus everything we got. I will overheat if I do that. Let's give the Zeus almost everything we got. We're not going to take another mission here. Ah, eh, we might. 50 damage is still significant, though. And I'm going to have to go into repairs anyway. Yeah, why not? Your aim is not great, though, right? Yeah. Well, we try to go to one of the legs instead. No, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, let's just try to do as much damage to the center torso as we can. And the PPC missed. That's upsetting. Scored a critical hit. We did almost core it, though. I'm generating a lot of heat here, boss. I think we're fine. It's going to take an awful lot of fire for them to break through the other side, and they don't have an, uh, a huge auto cannon to help them I'm this here. time. Close enough to just dump everything into that guy. Do I want to, though? I probably don't actually need to. So maybe I should go... Like this. Split the long-range weapons off, because the combination of the medium lasers and the SRMs is probably going to be good enough on the Zeus. I need to hit with 
one medium laser, and I guess it would have it's still a fair number of SRMs. Almost everything's gonna hit. Center torso is the most common hit location. This is probably still fine. Confirmed. Okay, well, we can definitely put that Banshee on its back. Oh, seven. Oh, no, the Banshee's unsteadiness threshold is so high. It's gonna, um... It's gonna bleed off enough stability damage to no longer be unsteady. So we will have to hit it twice to knock it down. Let's give it let's give it one of the PPCs. And then this guy, I don't need to fire the PPC at him at all. We'll fire both of our medium lasers at the Zeus. Either one of them hitting center is a kill. Engaging multiple enemies. Neither one of them hit center. You guys are killing me. And this will do enough stability damage to get him unsteady again. So now we can knock him down with Behemoth. Ready for orders. Roger that. All right, the Zeus gets the LRMs. I need two out of 20 to hit center. It will happen. And then this guy, did he just get everything else? We can knock him down with one, and then we rely on the Grasshopper for there, from there, but we don't really need to focus on this thing yet. So yeah, I'll just give him both of the other weapons. Splitting fire. All right, we figured it out eventually. And this Banshee is all torn up. Now that it's down on the ground, it it's probably actually faster to go for the legs than it is to finish it off from the center torso kill. Poor thing. Unable to mount better weapons. I'm so overheated, though. I'm not actually going to get to fire that much here. Need to turn just enough to be able to see you. And then we... Oh my god, I can't... I actually can't do pretty much anything. Alright, if I turn off... How many weapons do I have to turn off to get under the overheat threshold? Alright, there we go. I'm going to go for his leg. And we will just... See if we can make this happen. Can I turn off the LRM and turn on a laser and still be under? I can, okay. Well, this laser. Okay. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. 132 hit points between him and uh, sacrificing two pieces of salvage to us. I don't think we have a piece of a Banshee. I think we used all of ours. Commander? Okay, he braced. That's annoying. He is very clearly aware of what I'm trying to do to him, which I do not appreciate. That said, I have so many weapons. Let's start. Okay. Show him what you got. All right. Well, if it turns out I do have one extra piece of salvage, that's going to turn out to be pretty great for us. I'm I'm almost certain that's uh, that I don't though. Moving to position. All right, these have both been a little bit hairier than I was expecting them to be. Probably only get to fire. Okay, we can do this. Oh, both of the same part of the body, huh? And it had to be a limb. On my way. Well, this poor thing stands absolutely no chance. 
Uh... Yeah, we should probably just try to go center as much as possible here. Confirmed. Do love a good auto cannon. Orders. And you're barely going to be able to fire your weapons. And <laughs> I need to install more heat sinks on this uh, this grasshopper. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta Roger show it my left side as much as possible here. Alright, uh, we can turn on a couple more medium lasers. Roger that. Solid connection on that one. Alright, it really must not have a lot of health left center. 16. Should have fired the LRMs. Okay, that's an interesting tactic. Don't think that's going to quite work out the way it was hoping. It figured out how far the uh, the Highlander was going to be able to walk and was like, oh, I'll still have cover. But he didn't realize that the Highlander always flies everywhere. Okay. Well, I managed to not actually destroy any part of him. That's embarrassing. Hey. The Banshee actually doesn't have good jump shots, though. He did successfully hide from the Banshee. Advancing, I guess. Sorry, we'll take a moment here to just lose some heat. Receiving you. Standing by. Trying to tell you to move next to that mech, Position not to select confirmed. it. Alright, this will probably do it. Can I turn on my laser? Eh. I guess let's not. It still has a remarkable amount of health left in some parts of its body, but even through the guarded, a single Engaging missile to the chest will do it. Okay, there we go. Well, that's some big mech salvage. Unfortunately, it's not enough to actually complete anything, I don't think. All right. Moving out. All right, is it actually going to make me walk out this time? I think it shouldn't, right? When you get to the end of the turn, it's going to realize there's no enemies left. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I mean, it's something. Let's see if it turns out that I am misremembering my parts supplies again. Grasshopper needs some very, very minor repairs. And I did, in fact, have an extra piece of Banshee. Well... There's definitely no version of this where we don't take those, right? What a weird hardpoint loadout, though. Look at that. One uh, ballistic, two laser, and that's it. Like, this is... The, an AC-20 is the only thing you can mount on this. Not that I'm complaining. And we got a gyro. We got a pretty good SRM-4 pod. An autocannon with plus four accuracy. Unfortunately, like I was saying, it's very difficult to imagine a situation where I want to be using an AC-5. Okay, well, I think that uh, I think that that's it. I think we are ready to go to the end. Having completed another assault class mech is definitely helpful. I was hoping that we could find like some pulse lasers or some a, a Gauss weapon of some kind, but we're gonna have to do this mostly conventionally. It's all right. You can solve almost any problem by throwing enough metal at it. That's what this game has taught me.
Better speed than most other assault mechs? Okay, that's, you know, that's compelling. Uh, let's swap it for the Vindicator, I guess. <laughs> Keep the blackjack ready just in case I'm feeling nostalgic. And then we may as well sell off that Vindicator. Alright, let's make sure that we spend our XP. I think that was the last normal mission we want to do. Let's see, if anybody's like one mission of XP away from called Shot Mastery, that that would probably be a compelling reason to uh, to hold off and do one more. She's two pips off. Well, I mean really one pip off, but it's a pretty expensive one. We'd have to do like three more missions to get it for her. You definitely want it. Training confirmed, Commander. Receiving you. Uh, Decker doesn't have any XP. You... Boy, what do I want from you? Extra over three overheat threshold's not bad. This is called shot bonus. We should probably take that. And then this is maybe the last XP you'll ever get, so why don't we go ahead and buy something with it? That sounded a little bit more ominous than I meant it to be. Yes, Commander. Called shot mastery for sure. Ready for orders. Okay, you're spent. You're spent. I mean, no reason not to get this. Confirmed, Commander. Yes, Commander. You're spent. We're actually remarkably close to maxing out a couple of our pilots. I probably finished the game a little bit more slowly than you are intended to. We did a lot of just jetting around at the end here. Alright, we may as well grab plus one max evasion, because she's probably never going to get XP again, so... All right, we are sort of semi-ready. We have one more uh, one more big chance to fiddle with the loadouts of our max. I'm not 100% sure what what we're going to do with everything. I'm still kind of unhappy with the grasshopper. I'll take a look at it. I'll see if I can figure out something a little better to do. And we do have this new Orion. New Orion? New what did I No, new Banshee. It is nice to pick up a new Banshee. So like, yeah, you definitely hold on a second. The default loadout for this thing has an AC5 in that slot. But, like, how are you going to do damage? AC5, PPC, oh yeah, and a small laser, of course. Well, this, obviously, this won't stand. I guess I don't have to do this on camera. Obviously, I'm putting an AC20 in here. Uh, we'll figure out what else afterward. I'm curious, though. It says that it's faster than most mechs. I wonder how much. I wonder, like, I wonder exactly how quickly this thing moves. Could it be a punch mech? It does have four support slots. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll have plenty of opportunity to blow stuff up on the final mission. Maybe we'll be able to land a really big, impressive Banshee punch. I will say, um, I did accomplish one of my goals for the series, which was... We got to run up behind a mech and just put our entire arm all the way through it and kill in one hit. And that was pretty awesome. So that is going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have recommendations for what we should do with our mech still, please do leave those in the comments below. And come back next time for the beginning of the end. We'll see you then.